Hey guys, I promise you more intersections and I'm delivering. Look at this beauty. I've got to say, this is actually my favourite. I love how this looks. This is called a three-way directional stack intersection. And just look, I mean, that's beautiful. And I'm going to show you how to build it. Okay, so let's get started. Pick up our good old friend, the low density dirt road, and our magic number that we're going to be working with is 585. So we draw a straight line from our center point, 585. 584, 584 will do, and the same this way, 584 that way. Then we extend this one, doesn't matter how far, and then we join this up. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can only have the correct angle as a maximum. So if you take it up to just the point where it says it's too sharp, and then come and then come down from that that is the exact right angle anyway so you kind of can't do this wrong you can just double the magic number but that's what you get anyway so there you go I do try to make this nice and simple for you now you'll notice that when when you've got the grid lines laid out that you've got these two which point to this exact spot on on each side right and that is the exact midpoint, and that's why we use this 585 number, because it gives us that exact midpoint. Right? So, from there, hold down your shift key so you get 90 degrees. Boom. Now we can get rid of everything except our three lines in the center because that's what we're actually working for because what we need is this correct angle here so that each of the roads is is heading in the right direction now we trim these back so that we just leave the stub on each side okay so there you go that's all of that was just to obtain this little triangle in the middle. Okay, now we'll change to a magic number of 700. This actually doesn't have to be like um, exactly 700, but I would recommend that it's a minimum of 700. Uh, if you make it smaller than that, you're going to have problems getting your bridges in. So I'm going to use 700. Oh, I can get exactly 700. Boom. There we go. And then 700 on this side. And 701. Lovely. Now I'm going to pick um, low density street and I'm just going to extend these roads. Extend down there and number three. Oh, lovely. lovely. Let's pop that right over to the side. There we go. Okay, and, and this bit that we drew in the middle can now also go. I'm, I'm actually going to leave the center point for now, but I'm going to get rid of the rest of it. Because we don't need that. And I'm only, you actually don't need this center point either, but I'm just leaving it there for reference. So let's go up here now so that we can see this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, now what we need to do is put in uh, parallel roads to create um, our, like, semi-highways. So what we do is we put in another low-density street parallel to these roads. And you want to put it on the same side each time so that they're correct in relation to each other. So I'm going to put this one on the left-hand side. That's that looks that looks okay to me. Again, if it's slightly off, it's actually not going to make any difference. So let's do the same with these. So I put that one on the left. So this one's going to go on the left as well. Looks 
good to me. Let's take a look. Yep, that looks good. And the last one. Again, need to put this on. Oh, nice little plane. And we need to put this on the left. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. Lovely. Okay, so now we've got our converging highways. So, step one completed. Right, on to step two. Now, step two, we switch over to our favourite, the arc tool, that I always get wrong. And all we're going to do is put in a curve connecting the right-hand lane to the left hand lane um, on the opposite side on the on on the right hand side yeah I can't think of a better way of phrasing that <laughs> now again you want to draw these the same the same way each time so go from the right hand lane to the right hand lane so that you, you always get the same curve from each um, fake highway to the next so again low density street and I'm coming from the right going to the right just want to hook it up because you see like depending on, on, on exactly where you are and how you approach it and how you cook it up you'll get different curves so you know you want to come out straight and then come into it as straight as possible and then the same with this one so I'm going from the right hand lane Come out straight and go into as straight as possible, and bump. And there we go. That's step two. Okay, so the next thing to do is to put in um, our spurs so that we can put in our bridges for the left hand turns. So we've got the right hand obviously just goes to the right on each occasion. So the right hand turn. So we need the left hand turn, and for that we need to create some little spurs. Now these are free draw, but you can use the street lights as a guide. Okay, so there's usually a street light by here, um, and you want to judge it so that it's a bit like if that's if that's the width of a street light then you want it about two to two and a half straight lights. Uh, again, kind of doesn't matter to be too precise, but um, the more precise you can be, the better. Okay, so we're going to put in... So I want... So that's about a half. From there to there is about a half. So I want one, two. I hope you can see these. And then I'm going to come out at 45 degrees. And you want this to be around sort of like the, uh, the 250 mark. Round, round about there. Okay. Now, you can test out whether this is going to work. Because you're going to join this to this road here. Okay. Now... It helps. It actually helps to, to, to make the bridge. So I'm going to raise this by four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it around here. Now you'll get angle too sharp. So what you do is you move it up this road until it says something other than angle too sharp. Okay. And it's that point. It changes from angle too sharp to cannot intersect this road and the reason it's saying that is because we've still got this center point in but I want to make sure that at the point where it changes okay so from angle too sharp to cannot intersect this road that we're crossing this center point as close as possible okay if you're not right like if if you're too if you're too far this side okay um, then it means this is pointing too far this way okay if you're too far the other way so if, if you're 
if you're that side, which I can't really do, um, it means that this is pointing too much this way, okay? So by controlling the angle of this, and, and when you play around with it, you'll find it's actually pretty easy to judge. You want this so that it crosses that center point when you get to that point where you can connect the row, which is, there, there we go, there, about there, okay? And as you can see, it's crossing that center point, so that's great. Okay, so now we know that that's working, we'll get rid of that. Now, this is quite important. The height of the roads, or the height of the bridges that go across, have to be um, pretty exact. In fact, not pretty exact, they have to be exact. The first road is going to have a height of 4, the second one 7, and the third one 10, because 10 is the maximum. Now, you need 4 to give you clearance above the ground roads. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's take it to the point where it changes. So, angle too sharp. Oh, there. That's what we want. Boom. Okay, and as you can see, that's crossing that nice center point there. Exactly. Beautiful. That's what we want. <laughs> oh my god. Something's actually going to work. That makes a change when I make one of these videos. Usually, the first, like, everything works when I'm, like, practicing and researching and doing the R&D, and then when I come to do it, it doesn't work. All right, so one, two, and a bit. So come out at 45 degrees, come around here. Again, we want it about 250-ish. And just, yeah, just about there, I think, is right. So this one is coming to the left, so it's coming around to here. Um, that, that might not be quite right, but we'll see. We'll see. I may have to redraw that. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the right height. And then we bring it around here. And with a bit of luck and the wind in the right direction, Eventually, this will say, okay. Now, if it doesn't, which this isn't, okay, then the other thing you can do is just take it off the road, okay, so that it's close, as close as possible, uh, and then drop it on there. Now, again, you need to judge um, where to connect it. And again, you can do that by using the straight lights. So if we go over to this one and we look at this this point where it turns to brown, so they've got that little V shape there, we can count the, the, the straight lights. So it's one, two, three, three straight lights from the V. Okay? So we can do the same with this. So Let's bring it over here. Let's create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, what did I say? One, two, three. We want it about there. Boom. And then you can connect that on. And actually, you can create slightly smoother joins when you, when you place it just to the side rather than on the road. But, there we go. And finally, the last connection. Yep, that'll do for me, baby. Hook that up, and there you go. That is the intersection. Now, a couple of things that we still need to do to, to make this look really tasty. Okay. Um, we want to turn these into highways. Now, you don't have to do this. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But I think it looks a little bit better. Now, from where you've got the, the, the join of this road, um, 
leave yourself one, two sections of road. I'll close in so you can see that a bit better. Leave yourself two sections of road and then delete the rest. All right, and the same on the other side. Okay. Um, now, if you if you want to, you can actually come in a bit closer, which I have done. And the closer you get it, to be honest, the better it looks. Um, so, am I going to... Yeah, what the hell. <laughs> so, one or two, up to you. Completely up to you. And then, again, curved road tool. So pull it out straight. Come around. Going straight. Now, you want an even rounded joint. Okay? And... Sometimes it'll give it to you. Oh, there you go. Sometimes you have to play around a little bit. But you want as a smoother joint as you can get. Okay? And the reason is that when you hook up the highway, and I find that medium density avenues look the best for it. It actually works better if you use a straight road. Uh, and you can start from there if you want. And just draw it out. Boom. And there's a highway going, you know, splitting off. So the traffic uh, going up the right just goes straight up there. Lovely, no problem. Turning left goes over the bridge down there. And then the traffic coming in from the other side merges into here. We cool. can upgrade these roads. So these are the, the ones on the ground. We can upgrade those to medium density if you want to. Okay, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can upgrade them to, to mediums. Uh, medium and arch. And there you go. There you have it. There is... Uh, intersection. Now, just like with the with the four-way intersection, um, you can like put stuff into these gaps that are there. Um, you can you can join up roads to these in any way you like. What I do like about this um, is that it's not it, it gives you something that isn't a grid. Okay. So you can now section this. You've got like three sections of the city. And you can section that up kind of however you want. So like you could put in, um, you, you could put in, you know, like arcs like this and have a kind of rounded sort of city. Not like that, obviously. Let's, let's try coming from the other side. So, you know, like this kind of thing. Or... You could use um, like straight roads, so you could like. Well, if I use the straight road tool, would be better. Um, so you know, you could you know have it in sections like this, or so it gives you some nice variations on on how you create the city, um, so that it's not grid. Because let's face it, God, we must all be so bored of grids by now. So, like I said, you don't have to put in the highway connection if you don't want to. I think it looks better if you convert all of these to, to highways. Um, and there you go. That's it. Play around with it. Hope you have fun. I have a lot of fun um, putting this together. And I've built like, I think I've built like eight of these now. Um, and they're, they're really fun to play around with. And you can... This 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 is called a stack. I've found. I've been doing lots of. I know so much about intersections now. I've been doing a lot of R and D. I could be a civil engineer now. Um, this stack here, um, you can play around with in terms of. Do you want it to be like very precise so that they, they all cross at the same point? Uh, and again, it's just these little um, offshoots by altering exactly which way they're pointing you can control these so that you can have them like stacked precisely in the same place if we get over these that's not bad seeing as i was kind of rushing it 
or you can space them out which also looks good um, so that you can have sort of another tree you can have a, you know triangles inside triangles inside triangles um, you know just by m moving this slightly to this side so that this road comes sort of there rather than, rather than there so you just spread them out and you get a triangle in the center and you, it's like triangles, everything's triangles, which is kind of cool. So if you're doing a triangle city, I recommend play around with this because it's pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, catch you next time. Peace out.